CIMB Bank is the group commercial bank with 234 branches across Malaysia. CIMB Bank is the country's second largest commercial bank by asset with over 8 million customers nationwide and offer the full spectrum of banking service from consumer product to business banking service for SMEs as well as insurance, investment and wealth management product and service. CIMB Bank has subsidiaries in Thailand, Cambodia and Vietnam as well as branch in Singapore, Philippines, London, Hong Kong, Shanghai and Laos and representative office in Yangon and Mumbai. IMB Group is a leading Asian Universal Bank and one of the region's foremost corporate advisors. It is also a world leader in Islamic finance. The group is headquartered in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia and offers consumer banking, commercial banking, investment banking, Islamic banking and asset management product and service. It is the fifth largest banking group by asset in Asia and as at the end of December 2021 had around 3,000 staff and over 18 million customers. Brief description of board of a director. The highest position in the CIMB group holding is the chairperson or independent director. The one who in charge in this position is the Datuk Muhammad Nasir Ahmad. Datuk Muhammad Nasir Ahmad is a currently chairman of CIMB Group Holdings Berhad, CIMB Bank Berhad, and the CIMB Bank PLC Cambodia. He is also chairman of Malaysian Accounting Standards Board and a member of the Financial Reporting Foundation. Next. Group Chief Executive Officer or Executive Director, Datuk Abdul Rahman Ahmad. Datuk Abdul Rahman Ahmad is the Group Chief Executive Officer of a CIMB Group Holdings Berhad and Chief Executive Officer of CIMB Bank Berhad effective on 10 June 2020. Next, there is a four independent director. The first one is a Datin Grace Yoh Cheng Yok. Dating Grace Yoh is an alumna of the United World College of South East Asia. Next is the Chu Hong Kyung. Chu Hong Kyung was appointed as a member of the CIMB Technology Strategic Panel. Next, Sukanta Kumar Dut. Sukanta Kumar Dut has an extensive experience in the field of uh, governance, risk, and financial reporting, having worked for 42 years at the Ernst and Young. And the last one is the Nazira Abdul Rashid. Nazira Abdul Rashid is a senior level finance executive with over 25 years of professional experience in securities, market and the banking industry. Next, there is a two non-independent director. The first one is a Datuk Lee Kok Kwan. Datuk Lee Kok Kwan was the deputy chief executive officer, CEO of CIMB Group prior to his board appointments. His area of responsibilities included corporate banking, transaction banking, and sales and trading business in interest rate, credit, foreign exchange, bond, equity, commodities, and their derivative treasury and funding for the group, fixed income, investment, and debt capital market. And the last one is the Serena Tan Meishuan. Serena Tan Meishuan is an executive director of investment in Kazanah National Berhad and oversees the fintech, insurance and fund sectors. Next is the brief description of the main management team. The first one is Dato' Abdul Rahman Ahmad. He is the group Chief Executive Officer, Executive Director, Country Head Malaysia, Chief Executive Officer of CIB Bank Malaysia. Next is the Khairul Rifai. He is the Group Chief Financial Officer. Samir Gupta. He is the Chief Executive Officer, Group Consumer Banking. 
Next, Effendi Shahul Hamid. He is the Chief Executive Officer of CIMB Digital Asset, Group Chief Executive Officer of a Touch and Go Group. Next, uh, Rafi Hanif. Uh, he is the Chief Executive Officer, Group uh, Transaction Banking and Chief Executive Officer of CIMB Foundation. Next, Gurdip Singh Sidhu, Group Chief People Officer and Group Chief Sustainability Officer. Next, Huang King Yu. He is the Group Chief Legal and Compliance Officer. Next, Amran Muhammad. He is the Group Chief Internal Auditor. Auditor. Farida Hashim. She is the Head Group Branding and Communication. Hanis Nazlan. He is the Group Chief Strategy Officer. Vera Handajani. She is the Group Chief Risk Officer and the last one is Tati Rosaya Muhammad Nasir. She is the Group Company Security. 10 Main Shareholders in CIMB Bank First is Kansanah National Berhad Second is City Group Nomini Sengirian Berhad from Employees Provided Fund Board Three is Kumpulan Wang Pesaraan Four is Amanah Raya Tastis Berhad from Amanah Saham Bumi Putra. 5 is Amanah Raya Trustees Berhad from Amanah Saham Malaysia 2 Wawasan. 6 is Amanah Raya Trustees Berhad from Amanah Saham Malaysia. 7 is City Group Nominis Sendirian Berhad from Extem for AIA Berhad. 8 is Kartaban Nominis Sendirian Berhad from PAMB for Pranglin Equity Fund. 9 is Kartaban Nominis Sendirian Berhad from STEM for State Street Bank and Trust Company. And the last one is City Group Nominis Sendirian Berhad from Great Extern Life and Children Berhad. Bank Department Head is own as a main function. First, Group Consumer Banking provides conventional and Islamic banking solutions to individual customer and small business. Range of products include deposit account loans, personal financing, credit cards, wealth management and investment, like insurance, remittance, and FX. These offerings can be accessed through multiple deliverance channels. Example, online banking, mobile banking, service, self-service banking via ATM terminals, phone banking, all of which help facilitate financial transactions 24 hours. Second, group commercial banking provide a full suite of financial service and comprehensive financial solution tailored for the segment user. Practice and integrate marketing approach in designing and delivering our financial products and services. We also provide non-financial business solution and opportunity to assist our customer maintain resilience and adapt to the ever-changing business environment. Third, Group Wholesale Banking Religion banking solutions include investment banking service, cash and trade product, financial solution as well as treasury and market product. Along with transaction banking and Islamic banking teams, we bring tailored solutions to our customers from retail and high net worth individuals to corporate financial institutions and sovereign entities. Second last is Group Transaction Banking. And offer a wide range of products and services covering cash management, trade finance, supply chain finance solution, online banking, and security service. Products provide comprehensive end to end cash management solution designed to help our clients manage their cash flow and outflow safely and effectively. Also, provide end to end security service solution via fund accounting, custody, corporate trustee and agency service. Last, CIMB Digital Asset. CIMB Digital Asset CDA comprises CIMB portfolio of digital business and ventures 
out of this has come towards creating the liquidation of CIM list investment in this franchise through equity and non equity partnership. Product and service offer. First, we have saving accounts, which is we have regular saving accounts, senior saving account, basic saving account. Fixed deposit, foreign currency, fixed deposit. Third, currency account, which is preferred current accounts, five accounts, business account. Next, credit cards. CIMBE credit card, CIMB Infinite credit card, CIMB World Master credit card. Next, debit card. CIMB Debit Master card. Next, trade financing. Documentary credit, BC, Banker Acceptance, BA, Bank Guarantee, BG. Major source and users fund of CIMB Bank. Most of the bank have the similar sources and users funds, which include equity, capital, reserve, the liabilities, and current liabilities. Whereas the users of fund are fixed assets, intangible asset, non-current asset, and current asset of the bank. Major source of CIMB Bank. Total asset, total liabilities, and total equity, cash, short-term funds. The deposit and placement of the bank and other financial institution, the deposit from customer, there are several types of deposit product which are demand deposit, saving deposit, quick deposit, negotiable instrument of deposit and others. According to the financial statement, there are type of customer product which are government and statutory bodies, business enterprise and individual. Next, the capital and reserve, the loan and advance and financing. They are allocated in several types of loans offered by bank, term loans, staff loan, credit card, revolving credit, and share margin financing. Based on the financing statement, the loan used in individual has the highest amount followed by domestic business enterprise, foreign entities, government and statutory bodies, other domestic entities, Domestic non financial institution and domestic banking financial institution. Next, portfolio of financial investment. The portfolio consists of different types of bonds, stock, private debt, securities, government, treasury, bills, and others. The financial investment available for sale has the highest users of fund among portfolio, followed by financial investment held to maturity, financial asset. Muhammadah is a leading Islamic bank established on 1st October 1999 and is governed by Islamic Financial Service Act 2013. As a full-fledged Islamic financial institution, the bank offers its customers a broad range of services meeting the needs of both individuals and institutions. In essence, Bank Muhammadah provides individuals with services ranging from deposit accounts, asset management, financing needs, for automobiles, homes, and personal use, as well as with management products such as family and general takaful, investments, Islamic asset finance, and non financial products such as Islamic funeral management, Quranic learning, and halal tours. The bank offers corporate and institutional customers the full product range of a leading corporate and investment bank from cash management, payment solutions including trade and export finance to international foreign exchange, financing and capital market transaction. Bank Muamalat has present nationwide via a network of 67 branches. In addition, Bank Muamalat also has its electronic channels and companies in iMuamalat, the bank's internet banking solution and our staff service terminals SST, which are available at almost 141 locations through a network of ATMs, CDMs and CICOs. We also provide corporate internet banking at customers' convenience. Bank Muamalat is a member of the DRB Highcom Barahat Group which owns 70% of the bank's shares with the remaining state held by Kastanian National Barahat. 
Sultan Muhammad was officially accepted as a member of Global Alliance for Banking on Values (GABV) on 15 November 2017, signaling a growing appetite for the values-based banking movement. Bank Muamala is the first Islamic bank in the world and the first in Southeast Asian region to be accepted as a member of GABV. Datuk Seri Tajuddin Atan was appointed as an independent non-executive director of Bank Muamala Malaysia Berhad on 6 May 2020 and subsequently as an independent non-executive chairman of Bank Muamala on 10 June 2020. Datuk Seri Tajuddin brings with him over 35 years of experience in the corporate and financial industry that includes banking and capital markets, both domestic and international. He was previously the Chief Executive Officer of Bursa Malaysia Berhad from April 2011 until February 2019. Prior to that, he spearheaded companies and served as the Managing Director of RHB Bank Berhad and Group Managing Director of RHB Capital Berhad from May 2019 to March 2011. Second is Datuk Sri Cik Khalid Muhammad Noh. He was appointed as non-independent non-executive director of Ben Muamalat dominated by the RB Haikom Berhad on 27 August 2012. He is a member of the board nomination and remuneration and board vector committees. He was the former president and Chief Executive Officer of the Naga National Berhad TNB. Before that, he was the Chief Operating Officer, Finance, Strategy and Planning of the RB Haikom Berhad. Datuk Sri Jukali began his career with Merz, Fest and Young in 1989 and later joined Bumi Putra Machine Bankers Berhad. He was previously a member of the board and the executive committee of Fazana National Berhad from the year 2000 to 2004. Next is Tohari Abdul Mu'i. He was appointed as an independent non-executive director of Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad on 10 November 2020. He is the chairman of the board veto committee and a member of the board nomination and remuneration. Board Audi and Board Risk Management Committees. Johari brings with him over 30 years of experience in the corporate and financial industry that includes banking, capital markets, and social security. He was previously the head treasury division at Commerce International Machine Bankers Berhad, Senior Vice President Institutional Sales at CIMB Securities and Young Berhad, List of main shareholders of Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad is First is the RB Highcom which holds 70 shares in the bank and the second one is Kazana National Berhad holds the remaining shares of Bank Muamalat The CEO of Bank Muamalat is Ajma Permana the Chief Operating Officer and Operate Service is Per Muhammad Ibrahim Shah. The Division Executive VP and Cooperate Service is Said Safwan. The Assistant VP Operation Strategy is Ranga Putra. The Head Senior VP Retail Collection Management is Diki Zakiuddin. The Project Manager is Rini Hilmayanti. The Information System Audit Head is Harinda Nubwana. The business, the business Development Executive is Nabilah Nazmi. The Administrative is, is Najiha Taib. The KYC Advisory is Afri Roslan. The RM Funding is Muhammad Rizki. The Sale and Marketing Specialist is Kiki Hamdani. Bank Muamalat Department and its corresponding function. Muamalat Invest. Muamalat Invest Sendiam is a wholly owned subsidiary of Bank Muamalat Malaysia Berhad. Muamalat Invest, a licensed Islamic fund manager, has been licensed fund management company since 2006 and was accorded the Islamic fund management license in September 2010. 
second, Wakaf Mu'amala Economy Prosperity to Wakaf Sin 2012. Wakaf Mu'amala has been active to empower Wakaf through various collaboration and synergy for broad, broader outreach. To date, Wakaf Mu'amala has collected more than 26.7 million ringgit. Through Wakaf Mu'amala, the needy has underprivileged will be in good hands. Jaliah Fund. Jaliah Fund is an online crowdfunding platform which aims to assist the underprivileged and contribute to society. The platform is the donation drive through its transparent feature by providing current report and update of the amount collected and the state of the intended beneficiaries. Product and service at Ben Muamalat. Ben Muamalat provides various products and services, including long term financing, such as project financing, short term credit, comprising Muamalat Cash Line, and trade financing and fee based services that include cash management service to business customers. The bank also is committed to ensuring the transparency of its product and service. Ben Muamalat are aware that any expectation you may have to pertain into the product and service will be based on the information that is provided to the customer. The product and service in Ben Muamalat is saving account, current account and fixed term account. Any benefit that we can take from deposit saving account that is full debit card function and full access to iMuamalat mobile apps and internet banking and for term deposit account based on the Sharia concept of Tawarut the profit rate from account which are predetermined up front offer higher return compared to the normal saving account or current account fixed term account placement range from one month to a maximum 16 month profit rate based on the retail or corporate the main source of fund for Ben Muamala are current account and saving account that consists of shareholder fund and customer deposit. Customer deposit are the main source of fund for commercial bank, machine bank, final companies and discount houses based on the license granted by Ben Muamala. Without deposit, bank cannot service and function as the fund collected in the form of deposit are used for lending. The bank investment in subsidiaries are considered separately in the financing account, state at the cost, less impairment losses. When such option become accessible for investment, the gap between net disposal proceed and the current amount is recorded in the income statement. In addition to any fees and charge at Ben Muamalat payable by the customer, under any other term relating to the customer accounts, which term should continue to apply, the customer acknowledge that fees and commission and other relevant charge may be imposed in relation to the internet banking service or curtain service provided thereunder. The bank will inform the customer of such fees and charge by giving period notice in accordance with the clause on notice herein. The fees and charge imposed are remitted, trade finance, deposit and financing. The remittance charge range from 50 cent to 10 ringgit if the customer disagree with the imposition of such fees and charge the customer should choose to use the particular service to which such fees and charge relate